Welcome back, President Africa Hasisi praised on Thursday the Egyptian Chinese relations and the Arab Chinese relations as they are considered the milestone of stability and establishment justice in the international system. Addressing the opening ceremony of the 10th Ministerial Conference of the Arab Chinese Cooperation Forum in Beijing, President Sisi commanded the international community to, pro to work to provide immediate and sustainable relief of humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip, the details in the following report. President Abdel Fattah Sisi praised on Thursday the Egyptian Chinese relations and the Arab Chinese relations as they are considered the milestone of stability and establishing justice in the international system. Addressing the opening session of the 10th Ministerial Conference of the Arab Chinese Cooperation Forum in Beijing, President Sisi commanded the international community to work to provide immediate and sustainable relief of humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip. The head of state also called for confronting all attempts of forced displacement of Palestinians from their homeland. President El-Sisi stressed that the Arab border security issue is a top priority in future cooperation with the Arab Chinese Forum as it is considered an existential threat. The head of state further called for a serious and immediate commitment to the two-state solution and the recognition of the Palestinians' legitimate right to an independent state. On the sidelines of the 10th Ministerial Conference of the Arab-Chinese Cooperation Forum in Beijing, President Sisi also met on Thursday with the head of the Chinese State Council, Li Qiang. Presidential spokesman said the meeting focused on discussing cooperation between Egypt and China and aspirations to advance relations in various fields within the framework of comprehensive strategic partnership between the two countries. President Sisi asserted Egypt's appreciation for China's contribution over the past year years in supporting development projects in Egypt. Egypt is looking forward to improve relations and start new phase based on advancing efforts to localize industry, transfer technology, and benefit from the promising capabilities of Egypt in this context. Earlier on Wednesday, President El-Sisi held some talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping in Beijing. The two leaders discussed ways to boost bilateral relations as well as a number of regional and international issues of common concern, on top of which is the warring as a means of regaining stability in the region. President El-Sisi stressed the importance of stopping the warring as and the military operation in Rafah. Meanwhile, the Chinese President praised Egypt's efforts to achieve calm and transfer humanitarian aid into Gaza. The two leaders agreed on the importance of ceasefire in Gaza, the refusal of forced displacement of the Palestinians outside their lands, stressing that the two-state solution is the main guarantee to restore regional security and stability. President Sisi and China's President Xi Jinping also witnessed the signing ceremony of a number of agreements and memoranda of mutual cooperation in various fields. The signed agreements included a joint development plan for the Belt and road initiative. The agreements also included boosting cooperation in technological inventions, information and telecom technology. Moreover, President Sisi visited the monument to the People's Heroes on Tiananmen Square and laid a wrath at the monument in Beijing. The head of state also met with the head of the Chinese Standing Committee of the National People's Congress, Zhou Li. The head of state also met with the head of the Chinese Standing Committee of the National People's Congress. The meeting tackled the great development in the Egyptian-Chinese relations and the distinguished relations between the parliaments of the two countries. The meeting also tackled ways to boost cooperation in all fields as well as the exchange of developmental expertise between the two friendly peoples. For his part, the Chinese official praised the historical relations with Egypt, stressing his country's keenness to boost joint cooperation. Chinese President Xi Jinping called on Thursday for a peace conference on the war between Israel and Hamas as he addressed Arab leaders at a forum aimed at bolstering ties with the region. Xi is this week hosting Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, rather, either Emirati President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan and several other Arab leaders. China has pointed to the Middle East as a key uh, a nod in its Belt and Road and Infrastructure Initiative, a central pillar of Xi's bid to expand his country's uh, uh, plots overseas. 
Addressing delegates, the after they expressed support for a broad-based peace conference to resolve the Israeli-Hamas conflict. Addressing the opening ceremony of the 10th Ministerial Conference of the Arab Chinese Forum, Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abul Ghaid said the continued Israeli war for more than eight months on Gaza Strip is considered a major turning point in the Arab region. He pointed out that there is a profound feeling of depression towards the inability of the international community to stop this war as there is more than 35,000 Palestinian people killed, most of them women and children. Moreover, Abu al-Ghait questioned in his speech the credibility of what is called the international system when there is a state challenging its transparency and placing itself above its rules. He stressed on the importance of implementing a ceasefire to save the Palestinian souls living on the brink of famine. Abu al-Ghait also reiterated on the Arab League stance, which is based on preserving sovereignty of China and unity of its land and full commitment to the one China principle. French President Emmanuel Macron urged Palestinian Authority Chief Mahmoud Abbas to implement necessary reforms offering prospect of recognition of the state of Palestine. During a phone call on Wednesday, Macron highlighted France's commitment to building a common vision of peace with European and Arab partners, offering security guarantees for Palestinians as well as making the prospect of recognition of the state of Palestine part of a useful process. The red out of the call with the chief of the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank, Bank follows Tuesday's official recognition for a Palestinian state by fellow European nations, Spain, Ireland and Norway. <coughs> Twelve Palestinians were killed on Thursday in a new airstrike by Israeli occupation in Palestinian Rafah. A citizen was killed and six others 